How are you, Scott? Hey, How are you? Good. Oh my God! Look at you guys, and you got the Hello. showing the flag in the background there. My lights. We got it all. We got talismans right and everything. On. Excellent. So, our first question is for you, Mr. Victor slash Scott. Could you please, in three words, tell us what you think next season? If you could wrap it up in three words, what were your three words? I don't know. No, that's uh, uh Three words. I mean, uh, to sum up what happens? Yeah, just, just your take on season two. I would say uh, 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 thrilling, mind-bending, emotional. And what about you, Liz? Um, I think it would be um, chaos, love, and... Oh, I was going to say hope, but I don't think it's hope this season. I think, well, there is hope. I don't know. Chaos, love. It's okay. We'll go with hope for now, but yeah. not hope. We could, I could think for five minutes and then that would wreck everything. Okay. There you go. Yeah. So, um, Liz, you look fabulous and you look Thank calm. You. Everything's great. <laughs> Taking it. Um, <laughs> I, I'm so I'm so thrilled for you all. Um, how you. was it for Donna to meet her equal in the bus driver? Alex and I limited us ourselves to just the first episode. Oh, so. okay. Well, it, I think it was it was for Donna having another woman turn up who does not back down. Yeah, in, you know, <laughs> first episode, it's like. But I think there was so much going on that to focus on an individual was not Donna's or Liz's uh, focus. There's just, it's such a whirlwind that first couple episodes. Yeah. We're yeah. going to find out soon. Yeah. Alex? Yeah. So Scott, um, I love the character, but can you say a little bit about why Victor is stuck in that certain age. I mean, he's an older man, but why is he stuck in that certain age? I think I would draw a line. I that's a great question. Uh, thank you. Um, I think I would just draw a line back to his trauma, you know, uh, back when he was, as it was established in uh, the first season where he was left alone <clears throat> after this massacre and having mm -hmm. to survive in this reality uh, for years, decades, you know, uh, I think that 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 uh, that would certainly explain a lot in terms of uh, of of, uh, of how he or why he is the way uh, that he is. I also think that his memories have something to do with it too, which are also triggered by the arrival of the Matthews family in season one, and that continues into season two as well, uh, which is really exciting. Is that these fragments of memories are starting to come back to him, and he's trying to determine whether they were dreams or they're not, you know. Uh, but I think that there's a regression in that as well because it's triggering this emotional emotional stuff and you guys know in that first episode of season two he's mm -hmm. there's something down in those caves that, out. that that just i think even just sends him on a whole new trajectory you know uh so yeah that's a great question so donna what has come out of this first season that we've noticed among the the fan base is the word fromily yeah what does that mean to you Donna, oh my God, Liz. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> you of all people. <laughs> um, oh, well, I think I think that it means to me is well, I mean, so much of it is about how people have embraced the show and how we do become like fam family, family is people who have meaning to us whether they're, you know, beyond it being DNA that, you know, like the people are on a journey together and some of it may be bumpy, but we're still finding each other. We're still looking for each other. And, I, and, and the, like the fans are so have embraced us so beautifully. So it feels, it's a, it feels good. That word. Yeah. Well, well thank you so much. Thank um, you so much. And I know we have to wrap up. I just wanted to know if you guys could do our tagline. If you, if the bell the is ringing, ringing. You, you better, better go, go home. home. 
Liz, thank you. You're always thank the best. You. Scott, I know we haven't yeah. met before, but I've been a huge fan. Oh, and thank you. And you guys, let me say this. Thank you guys. Alex, you guys are the best because yeah. of your endless and undying support of the show. Like I, you know, we're all so grateful for you too. Thank you so much for the podcast, everything. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, it's fantastic. Thank yeah. you. See you soon. Thank you. See you soon. Uh,